Right then, this is a road test video for a Lexus LS430. Uh, this particular car is registered GP550FN. Mileage at the start of the road test is 89,719 miles. Uh, the reason we do the road tests, as I say in all of them, um, the internet's made it very, very easy to look for cars, you know, rare cars, you know, much like this one. Um, but obviously, yeah, people are willing to travel much further to go and see them. Clearly, the, that's great, but your time is precious to you as it is to us. And if there's a fundamental problem with the car, which you should have been told about, and not every garage does, um, then you know you can have your time wasted very, very easily indeed. So what we do on these road tests is to tell you kind of what's and all. If there's any issues with the vehicle, you do get to know about them. And I have done it on many of my previous videos. So this isn't just a an exercise in sort of ticking boxes to get you to come to us. Um, road tests are also done on exactly the same roads and on the same road test route as you'll be going on if you're interested in purchasing the vehicle. So I, I'd hope it'd be representative of what you should feel yourself. Uh, very brief background to this car, as you'll almost certainly know from the advert, it's been quite sensationally looked after by the Lexus main dealers. Um, mechanically, you know, absolutely spot on. Um, engine starts instantaneously, you know, they are, you know, an unbelievably refined and quiet engine. So, you know, if there was anything untoward, it'd be immediately obvious. And this one is, is, you know, close to perfection as you'll ever get on a, you know, on a, any car. It's a, it's a simply, a, you know, incredible engine. It's so refined, got amazing power, wonderful power delivery, um, but it's the effortless way in which it delivers that power which is you know in my opinion it, it is unmatched in its class um, certainly it's got a mechanical refinement there's nothing like this you, you'll never you know I drove BMW V8s for many years and you know great engines they were um, not a patch on this absolutely not a patch um, there's no warning lights on the dashboard at all just the low fuel lights if you can count that as one um, which I'll attend to by putting some fuel into it in due course um, engine then feeds through into a Lexus automatic gearbox very very smooth shifting gearboxes um, obviously on any gearbox of any type you should automatic certainly um, obviously just wait till they're warm pop them in neutral then you know select drive or neutral uh, reverse rather and just see if there's any delays or thuds or if there's any sort of harshness in the gear changes and there is nothing on this one. It's you know it's, it's exactly what I'd hope it to be. It's got a wonderful, wonderful um, quality of gear change. You just you know you literally hardly feel it. It's you know it's almost akin to kind of a CVT, but it isn't. So, um, so in terms of engine and gearbox, you know much as suspected, given the ownership and given the history of the vehicle, um, you know it's 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 perfect absolutely beautiful um, steering of the car tracks bullet straight there's no vibrations coming back through the steering of the vehicle at all um, it's positive there's no delays there's no feeling of anywhere in the steering at all you know even a Lexus you know it is a big heavy car you know, it's been just been driven around town centers you know just doing sort of low speed maneuvers even a Lexus could suffer from um, you know wear in that system but again I can't feel any it's, you know, it's they're, they're deceptive cars. They, they are big, they are very, very smooth riding, very soft riding, but they don't fall apart in the corners. They, you know, they, the air suspension keeps it all in check. Um, you know, it isn't a sports car. You know, God only knows it is, and it's not even trying to be. It is exactly what it is. You know, one of the greatest long distance cruisers ever built. Um, and the suspension and the steering, did, you know, I simply cannot detect anywhere in it at all. Um, the, the ride quality is just, it's almost bizarre. It's, it's, it's got a, um, yeah, it just kind of isolates you from the sort of road imperfections in an exactly the right way. It's not, you know, it's stupidly soft for like an American car where it's just going to bounce up and down on the road. Um, but it's, it's just perfectly matched to the type of driving most people do in this type of car, which is just driving very serenely around, not pushing on too hard. Um, 
and it just rewards with, as I said, just you know, the most amazing um, quality of sort of comfort and refinement in here. Uh, brake pedal on the car, just to get it a little bit straighter to just give them a bit of a sharp jab. But again, really good. There's no, what I'm looking for in automatics particularly is, is if there's any pulsing on the brake pedal, um, clearly a lot more strain and stress is put through the um, brakes on an automatic. Um, and that can sort of result in sort of brake disc warp on sort of lesser makes or lesser quality discs, uh, but these are absolutely fine. Checking the cruise control system and that's working exactly as it should. Also, whilst I'm at the legal limit here, um, just checking out for wind noise in you know what is you know you know remarkable car um clearly that can be ruined very easily if you had a damaged door seal or windscreen or um, sunroof seal uh, but it's very 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 quiet in here um so it's exactly as it should be looking around inside the car i mean the, what the problem with the videos of course is that you know, you can't feel what i'm feeling as you're driving so if you've not driven one of these cars uh, you wouldn't have experienced you know it's horrendously cliche to say but you know when you talk about kind of bank vault quality of manufacture and you know build quality that's exactly what this feels like inside i mean it is it beggars belief to think that this car is now coming up to 12 years old there's not a hint of a squeak or a rattle or a buzz from the interior trim it feels like it's just been carved out of a big lump of metal um, it's solid as a rock. It's unbelievably built, this car. Um, and this is going to really upset those who own BMW and Mercedes and Audis. I have to say, given my experience in the trade of all these manufacturers of cars, at this age mileage, um, no car is better built. No car that I've ever experienced is as well built as an LS430. Um, they're just amazing cars not to say they can't go wrong or don't go wrong um, but just the sheer build quality then the feeling of strength and solidity on the road I just I've never experienced anything quite like it um, you know looking around inside the car and there it's not as stylish as some of the German manufacturers in lots of ways but it is better put together you know everything I've pressed in the car pop and one thing which I'll tell you about in a second works absolutely perfectly I press pretty much every button um, sat nav's working fine camera working fine you know heated seats cooled seats absolutely spot on but I'm just going to put those on again just to check them for a second time but I'll just do it um, dashboard all the readouts exactly as it should be the only thing I've picked up on not something we're going to do anything about I'm going to be brutally honest not the sort of age and mileage and price we're now selling this car at um, the electric wing mirrors fold and adjust all perfectly apart from the driver's one here um, it goes left it goes right it goes down but it doesn't go up um, so you would have to poke it with your finger to click it you, know, you might have to do that once because you're driving the car constantly then you know it's something you're never gonna have to adjust again so but you know I do try and pick up even in you know petty things I do try uh, by the way air conditioning seats lovely and cold so let's put it onto the heated um, setting now as well um, so that's you know electrically that's the only thing I've found um, that doesn't work exactly as intended to um, but the rest of it uh, I said a simply amazing car I mean you've said if you've driven one and you know them or you've had a LS 400 you'll know what Lexus are all about um, but you know genuinely if you're sort of pitching this against um so it's just parking sensors going on um if you're pitching this against something like a kind of a seven series or an s class or an a8 of a similar vintage you know my per you know I, I genuinely believe it just knocks spots off them really does and it's not as agile or as sporty as let's say a seven series um but it's you know i don't think personally i wouldn't buy the car for that i'd buy the car for sort of distance the, you know cover in comfort and I don't think there's any car possibly the S class would match it um, possibly for you know ride comfort and quietness but not for mechanical refinement certainly not the engine isn't as refined gearboxes aren't as smooth 
um, but what this does better than any of them is done it do it with minimum fuss and minimum or minimal issues um, by comparison and as I said you know I, I repeat you know even Lexus can go wrong on occasions but it is a rare thing um, but compared to the other manufacturers you know it's they are in a different league um, so aside from that little wing mirror thing you know I can't find anything this is a truly wonderful car um, if I've missed anything it says not by intent or design I don't do that um, you know do give me a call I'll happily answer any questions you might have about the car